Okay. Lesson 1.2, and I'm going to call this lesson 1.2, part two. It's part two. It's going to go with the second assignment there, which is at 22 through 46. That will be due Wednesday, which is what I planned on anyways. But we are going to be talking about continuity. We're going to spend the first part of this time talking about asymptotes, holes, which is technically Algebra 2 review. I don't know how much you remember, but I know in Algebra 2 I did teach holes and asymptotes. It's just been a bit. And then we'll get to increasing, decreasing, boundedness, and extrema. Now, a function is continuous if there are no holes, breaks, or asymptotes. The two big things we're going to focus on here, holes and asymptotes. In order for a function to be continuous, we must check for holes and asymptotes. Now, f of x equals x squared minus 4 over x plus 2. If you graph this, it's going to look like a line. However, it's actually a line with a hole in it. You can't, if you just graph it and look, can you really see the hole? Only if you like mega zoom in. If you really zoom in a lot, you can probably see the hole. But our first um, thing that we're going to think about when we're talking about holes and asymptotes is we always want to factor our equation. Okay, we always want to factor because we want to check and see what is happening here. So if we factor this, what do you know about x squared minus 4? Okay, so x squared minus 4, that's what I would call the difference of squares. x squared breaks up into x and x. The square root of 4 is 2, so we're going to have a plus 2 and a minus 2. And my denominator was already x plus 2. Hmm, what do you notice here? There's an x plus 2 and an x plus 2. So when we clean this up, it actually, this is why I said your equation is a line. Because you're actually really just graphing the line y equals x minus 2. Now, here's the deal. There's either a hole or an asymptote at the denominator. If I set this denominator equal to 0, that was weird. Okay, if I set x plus 2 equal to 0, what are you going to get when you solve this? Subtract the 2 over, x equals negative 2. Now, it's either a hole or an asymptote. What happened to the factor that represents x equals negative 2? That factor could cancel. Because that factor canceled, this represents a hole. As in, you're not really going to see it on your graph unless you really zoom in or unless you try and trace over it and it skips that spot. Okay, so that's an example of a hole, and a hole happens when the factor that represents it cancels. Now, you'll notice to get the hole, we set our denominator equal to zero, yes? And so and that's what we're going to be doing all these is denominator equal to zero. We can also investigate graphically. Because can you graph this and see what's happening? You know something's supposed to happen at x equals negative 2. And if you can't really see anything happening, it's a hole, not an asymptote. A little bit of vocabulary. A hole is what we call a removable discontinuity. Okay? That's popping up in my calculus curriculum a lot right now. Removable versus non-removable discontinuities. I can't remember if I taught removable versus non-removable in Algebra 2 or not. But I definitely teach it in pre-calc. Okay. So I'm going to say whole. And I'm even going to write over here because factor cancel. 
And that's probably a good place to stop. So tomorrow we'll look at the asymptote there and continue with our lesson. Sound good? Homework will be due on Wednesday.